So we're gonna get started. I know we want to hold picture, so yes, let's start with a picture. Um, so I'm gonna ask everybody to stand behind um, here. Um, so let's just do one round. One of the things that I want to say thank you so much for everybody for being here today on a very special, special day. Uh, when the Liberistas have shown that it is possible to transform and win their industry. So look, one of the, one of the trends that they were chanting throughout New York City was delivery workers united will never be defeated. In the Spanish as Los Deliveristas Unidos Jamás Serán Vencidos Deliveristas Unidos Jamás Serán Vencidos Deliveristas Unidos Jamás Serán Vencidos Unidos Jamás Serán Vencidos So my name is Ligia Walpa For those that don't know me um, I am the executive director of the Workers' Justice Project. Yeah. For those that don't know, Workers' Justice Project is a worker center that was founded in 2010, uh, and it became a frontline organization during the pandemic, providing the most essential services and responding to the most immediate needs of immigrant New Yorkers. But at the same time, organizing to win rights and protections for day laborers, domestic workers, and now out delivery workers. Workers Justice Project is very proud to give birth to Los Deliveristas Unidos. A new movement that is led by delivery workers who are determined to win protections and representation for 65,000 deliveristas in New York City. It took us two years of organizing and mobilizing to make New York City recognize that delivery workers are essential. Last year, 4,000 Deliveristas gather in the same spot that we're here today. <laughs> and they march here to City Hall to demand the following. Access to bathroom, the right to be paid a living wage, the right to have more control over their deliveries, more transparency when it comes to their tips and their payment. And today we're in the same spot, celebrating the power of Los Deliveristas Unidos. Woo! Woo! Who organized and won. And right now, Workers' Justice Project and Los Deliveristas Unidos have demonstrated that it is possible to rewrite the rules of the delivery app industry. And it is possible to guarantee labor protections to app delivery workers. But the fight is not over. We're ready to be in every corner of our city, educating 65,000 deliveristas about these new rights. We will continue to organize and transform this industry. And we look forward to counting with every new city council member that is here joining us. Um, the amazing leaders who are here, who have made the commitment to make this job a dignified profession. But we wouldn't have been here because of incredible, powerful leaders who took the courage to speak up, march, organize, mobilize, and that's what got us here. So let me introduce you one of the leaders of Los Deliveristas Unidos, or the Delivery Workers United, Manny Ramirez.
Hi everyone, thank you for coming today. Um, yeah, um, first I just wanted to say something uh, really fast in Spanish. Uh, gracias a todos por venir aquí. Uh, mi nombre es Manny Ramirez y estoy muy agradecido de que estén todos aquí. Soy de la línea de latina del Movimiento de los Delivistas Unidos y mi mensaje es pequeño. Eh, mañana, el 24 de enero de este año, vamos a estar despertándonos con nuevas leyes. Yo y mi esposa, delivista también, vamos a levantarnos con nuevos derechos que no teníamos el día de ayer. E inclusive muchos de nuestros compañeros han caído en esta batalla y no han podido estar aquí porque han sido muertos en esta lucha, en el, el labor de su trabajo, han fallecido y es lamentable. Pero estamos aquí también para poder celebrar que estamos haciendo un paso a la vez y eso solamente es un poco de lo que se está haciendo. El compromiso está hecho, vamos a seguir adelante, vamos a seguir avanzando con mucho compromiso, mucho esfuerzo. El camino ya está hecho, solo hay que seguirlo y se requiere mucho coraje, mucho coraje. Yo no tengo más que decir que estoy realmente agradecido con todos ustedes porque el trabajo y el esfuerzo en conjunto, no solamente de los delibristas, sino de todos los que nos apoyan y todos los simpatizantes que están en esto, yo me siento orgulloso, yo y mi familia, no tengo más que decir que estoy orgulloso de todo lo que se ha logrado y sé que en el futuro es optimismo nada más porque hay más por trabajo y más más y más y más. Thank you everyone. So just to give a brief summary, uh, Manny said that he's very proud to be here and that he knows that while ma while while making this road for justice, there is a lot of fellow delivery workers who died lost their lives and the reason they're here is because they wanted to win justice and they just wanted to have better working conditions and they're so proud that they have been able to build this road that will take them to achieve this um, and he just mentioned that this movement it's growing and they're determined to win what they deserve as essential Frontline workers. Woo! So next, I'm going to be introducing somebody that has been very close ally to los deliveristas unidos. Somebody that has been there supporting, understanding, has actually taken rights with deliveristas to truly understand what this work really means. Um, so here it is, our senator. Thank you. And first, I want to thank the great, great, oh, I wanted to say one thing first, something else. I'm a Bills fan. Vamos los Bills. Now we'll get to the real. They were underdogs too. Go New York. Go New York. So today is the day we are both going to celebrate and educate. We are going to celebrate the amazing grassroots organization, Los Deliveristas. Hardworking people who just want a better life for themselves and who organize. They are a model for the whole city. So thank you for that. And we want to celebrate the new legislation that is going to take effect tomorrow and the people who are here who did it. We also want to educate. We want to educate the public about Los Deliveristas, about what is needed, how they can back them up, and how we can support other worker organizations to make our city a fairer and more equitable place. And we thank Ligi and the Workers Justice Project for helping make that happen across the city. Okay, so first Los Deliveristas, for those of you who may not know. These are 65,000 of the hardest working people I have ever met. All they want, many of them are immigrants, first time in this country. Many um, have not very much money, but what they want to do is support their families and themselves and make a better life for themselves. But they learned 
that the best way to do that is to organize. And this is a grassroots, bottom-up organization. And we celebrate that. It was not any of us politicians who did this. It was Los Deliveristas Unidos who did this. We love you. Yo amo. You are a model for the city. Second, we do want to acknowledge the city council and what they did. And we have here five, four of the five leaders who put this bill together, former city councilmen, not that the voters booted them out, they moved them up. Brad Lander. Carlina Rivera. Justin Brannan. And not here is Margaret Chin and Carlos Menchaca, who are also involved. And we also have the support of many other people, elected officials who are here to support Los Deliveristas, and I want to name them all. If you don't mind. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. Okay. We have here our Congress, our great Congress member, Acasio, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or she's expected. I don't know if she's here yet. Not yet. We have our new city council president, who we know is going to help us because we have lots to do in the future, Adrian Adams. We have our great borough president from Manhattan, who speaks many different speak, he always translates for me, he speaks great Spanish, but more importantly, he speaks the language of the people. Mark Levine. And council members, Gail Brewer, Julie Menon, Shahana Hanif, Alexa Aviles, Shekhar Krishnan, Sandy Nurse, Rita Joseph, and Crystal Hudson. Let's hear it for all of them. This new progressive city council is going to help not only Los Deliveristas, but the working people throughout New York City. So, and I am alive with you. And we have some more. Oh, Chios, oh yes, I saw Chiose last night, and again in his orange hat. And Lincoln Wrestler. How could I forget my two Brooklyn homeboys? Okay. Thank you. Now, we also have... Ah, Jamila from Jumani's, uh, Jumani's office, our great uh, city um, uh, public advocate. Thank you. Rita Joseph is here. Who else am I missing? Adrian, am I missing any of your troops? AOC. I mentioned uh, Congresswoman AOC and she is here. We have a few more people I want to acknowledge. We have drum leader Didar Chowdhury of the Bangladeshi community. And we have the Sunrise Movement standing in solidarity. And Tiffany Caban, I saw her in her pink hat. This year. There she is. Who else? We could have a quorum and pass some good legislation. The Los Deliveristas right now. <laughs> Madam Speaker, can you call us to order? Can Alexandria and I get an honorary vote in the City Council? Thank you. Okay. And also our Commissioner Peter Hatch and Maria Springer Torres. Okay. So I mentioned, I mentioned what a great organization this is and the Council. Now here is part of what we have to do today, and I'll be brief. First, we have to enforce the new law. So every one of the 65,000 deliveristas is protected. That means educating all the those deliveristas of their rights. So when an app or a restaurant or even a patron takes advantage of them, you come to your leadership in the union and all of us and we will back you. Second, we must educate we want to tell those apps, which take such disadvantage, take such advantage of these people, that we are watching you like a hawk, and we're going to come down on you like a ton of bricks.